What's happening YouTube? This is Lemurray here bringing you the final game in my best of three set in the Nugget Bridge Major for the first round against my opponent Evie Lee. So uh, currently uh, this is the match 3 of 3. We have both won a game each. I took the first game and my opponents took the second game. Uh, so some very smart adjustments are going to have to be made on my side if I want to come out of uh, round 1 with a win. So... Uh, as we've previously seen, my opponent's team consists of uh, Metagross, Terrakion, Zapdos, Amoongus, Scrafty, and the Suicune. We know that the uh, Scrafty is a Moxie set, we know the Amoongus is an Effect Spore set, uh, we know that Suicune is the Tailwind user on his team, we know that Terrakion uh, has Quick Guard, and we definitely certainly know for certain that uh, Metagross is carrying Bullet Punch and is definitely the Mega. So. Yeah, lots of things to look out for. Uh, as uh, as you can see below, my team is the same team we've been using, obviously, as per rules. So, Melodic, Landris T, Weavile, Heatran, Kangaskhan, and Zapdos. So, I believe this game, uh, I've got to play smart, really smart. So, uh, I want to lead Weavile and... Uh, I believe Weavile and Landris T. Landris T. Hmm. Weavile, Landris T. Well, I could go Weavile Zapdos again, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Uh, I want to... Best thing to do maybe actually to go Landris, Landris T and Zapdos. Weavile in the back and Kangaskhan in the back as well. So definitely making adjustments um, and using a Pokemon I haven't used yet to see how it would affect this matchup. Okay, so it's a good adjustment to make. Um, the because I get to put the track on at minus one, which is always a favourable thing to do. I believe this turn we are going to go for the rock slide and the um, rock slide and protect or. Rock Slide and Hidden Power Ice. It will take care of his Zapdos. Well, I could just go for the Tailwind. I am holding a Yachi Berry, so I can certainly deal with... Um, I can certainly deal with taking one. Okay, what I'm going to do in this, this case is this... Um, this lead matchup isn't the best lead matchup for me, but I have put the Terrakion at minus one. Um, I will most likely outspeed that Zapdos. Uh, yeah, I believe here the safest play I can go for is a Tailwind. So he draws Terrakion and goes into... What does he go into? Goes into his Among Us. So he's just going straight for the hidden power, and I reveal here that I am a Yachi Berry set. Which will thankfully net me some survival. Okay, so Mungus is a leftover set. I wasn't paying attention to that before, but it was certainly make note of that now. We're going to Rock Slide again and Hidden Power Ice the Among Us. Yeah, we'll do that exactly. So we're going to Rock Slide again 
and Hidden Power Ice, the Amoongus. So this time he sends in his Metagross. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see how much damage this does to the Amoongus. It'd be nice to get Flinch on Amoongus as well. <laughs> Would be nice. As we do get a flinch on the Among Us. Okay, so that's fortunate for me. This turn, the adjustment to make for me here is to go for Earthquake. But, his, uh, as he has shown before, his, uh, his Metagross does indeed have access to Bullet Punch. So, we're going to protect Landorus here, and we are going to Thunderbolt the... We could indeed Thunderbolt the Metagross. Because I, I believe I do not... Uh, I don't think I can KO the Amoongus. I think the Amoongus may end up protecting. So in retrospect, I don't have a whole lot to gain, unfortunately. Um, I think I've at this stage I'm forced to play it safe. Um, in the back, I've got Kangaskhan and Weavile. Yeah, at this stage, I'm forced to play safe. So we're going to protect with Landorus, and we're going to Hidden Power Ice the... Yeah, we're definitely going to Hidden Power Ice the Among Us. Okay, excellent. It was the right play to make. And I do indeed KO the Amoongus. Excellent. Okay. So I should have never doubted myself from my ability to KO the Amoongus. So that he sends Terrakion. So I think the best thing to do in my case is to just go for the... Uh, <clears throat> start getting some damage off onto the um, <clears throat> yeah I definitely need to get damage off onto um, his Pokemon start getting damage off I could potentially I could switch in but there would be no point so I'm going to protect against my bit um, and try and hope that T-Bolt can uh, do enough damage and or potentially get uh, Paralysis and Metagross, because he did protect last turn. So we're going to go for that play. Yeah, because at this stage the Bullet Punch is too obvious, so I had nothing, um, even though I lose Landorus this turn, I, in retrospect I had nothing to lose by trying to risk it. So Thunderbolt will do a considerable amount of damage to the uh, Metagross. And Rock Slide won't take me out, but my Tailwind peters out. So, at this stage... Um, hmm, that may have been a bad play. It may have been better just to double protect. Um, okay. Best thing I can do is probably Ice Punch the Terrakion. I'll just go for the straight straight low kick on Terrakion. Okay, we're going to go for that. We're going to go for low kick on Terrakion and protect with the Zapdos.
Okay, so... The only thing I can really do here is... Go into Kangas Khan. And go for a fake out. It's the only thing that can bring me back in this game. Fake out and T-bolts the... Um, <clears throat> T-bolt the Terrakion. But then again, at this stage in the, of the game, his Metagross is faster than Zapdos. Okay, we're going to low kick, because I'm going to pre predict my opponents to perhaps go for a priority move. Because at this stage, he knows Terrakion threatens my team. And uh, it's not a great scenario for me in either, either way. And assuming he wants to target either of my Pokemon, we're going to Tailwinds. Because, uh, yeah, at this stage there's not many options left to do a lot. Because it, certainly Zapdos is going to get KO'd either way. So... Yes, he does go for Quick Guard, okay. So Bullet Punch will get, um... Bullet Punch will take care of Zapdos. But Low Kick will KO my opponent's Terrakion. So it all depends on what my opponent's last Pokémon is. Yes, I am, it is 1 versus 2, but... Um, his last Pokémon could make... So it is indeed his Zapdos. Okay, so in this scenario, I want to go for the Sucker Punch, I think. But it's a bit too obvious at this stage. And the only problem is, Metagross does outspeed me, so Sucker Punch will never work. But Metagross does weigh a bit. It does weigh a fair bit. Um, we are going to go for Low Kick. I believe in this range I possibly could take it out. And it is neutral damage, so Low Kick is essentially my best play uh, at this stage. This is assuming, of course, that the Metagross is jolly, uh, but of course Metagross is base 110 speed. So that will definitely outspeed any Hangar's Khan, especially one that's adamant like mine. So we're going to go for Low Kick onto the Metagross slot. But unfortunately, it's not enough. So that's a very good uh, set of three to my opponent. All very, um, first game and the second, uh, the first game was very close, and the third game was relatively close as well. Uh, the second match I just got dominated in, unfortunately. So um, I'd like to thank you all for watching this best of three set. Um, and I don't, it's actually my first Nugget Bridge Major. I haven't competed in the past. So I don't believe it's single limb, but. Uh, I know I need to actually look into it a little bit more despite registering for it. So, um, first time for everything. Um, and yeah, uh, until the next upload, guys, take care.